Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to be talking about resources for hand tool woodworking. So where do I go when I need to find information about how to use tools, history of tools, where to find tools, how to buy tools, all of those questions that come up, where do I find answers? So today we're going to be looking at a bunch of resources and maybe adding some more from you guys. Let's dive in. Now, first and foremost, the best place to get answers is by talking to other people and being able to put out a question and other people answer it. And the two biggest places I use for that is what I call the hive mind. It is a group that I've set up with people who are kind of the core members of this channel. There's one on Facebook and one on Discord. So if you're not on Facebook, I have a Discord group. If you don't like Discord, there's a Facebook group. Um, and I put the same thing on most. So they're, they're pretty equal. This is a place where I go to bounce ideas off and say, hey, I've got a question. What do you guys think about this? Or other people post up things that they're working on. If they have a question about some project they're working on, they can put pictures on there. Or just showing this is what I've been working on. Um, there are a few other channels that then post videos on there, things that they have been working on and uh, things of that nature. And it is a great community to just bounce ideas off each other and that's why it's called the hive mind as I go along you'll find links to all of these down below now one of the things with the hive mind the Facebook group everyone knows that that's a Facebook group you put up a post and a picture and it slowly disappears down the stack discord is a little bit different it is a list of different things that you can go through and so there's a list for what did I make today what questions do I have in woodworking or just fun games and things in like that it's a little bit more of a community centered and I kind of like that and now when you get onto discord there is a video at the top that explains it. I know it can be very confusing for a lot of people, but it is a really well set up system for actually working through things. And that's why I really like it. So watch the video on there and it'll explain it all thoroughly. Next up, I have a page that I've put together that is kind of the end all be all for finding tools. Uh, it is every resource I have ever heard of. It is every place I know of to buy hand tools. It is a map of the entire world with pinpoints all over the world of where you can find hand tools. Then underneath that, there is a collection of trusted online sellers. And these are websites dedicated to selling antique hand tools. And then below that, we have a clubs list. And this is like the MWTCA or the Rocky Mountain Tool Collectors Association. Um, and there are collecting organizations all around the United States and the world. And so find the organization that's in your area and get involved with them. And you will find that there are people you can then contact to and get more information about what you're looking for. And then below that I have another selection of groups and these are Facebook groups, these are the forums and other sources that I occasionally pop on and find out more about tools. 90% of the time when someone asks me where do I find this, I'd say go to handtoolfinder.com a ton of information on there. I'm soon going to be putting up a section on there for just parts uh, because there are a few sites and people who have come up that are just selling parts. And that is kind of cool because then I'm looking for this doohickey on that particular item. Someone out there's got it, but it's a hard time trying to match that up. For right now, usually when I need a part, I go down the list of online sellers and most of those sellers have boxes and boxes of parts that they can rifle through and feel like, oh yeah, I've got that one. Usually the best source for any question is who you know and being able to say uh, this person over here, they are a specialist in this particular topic. And one of the problems is developing that network of contacting those people. One of the best ways to do that is to know where those people go. And so to try and find the groups for the collectors, they'll be the ones, there'll be someone in there who collects this particular brand of this particular saw. And then you'll have the restoration groups, groups that focus on restoring saws and groups that focus on restoring hand planes and so on. Eventually you'll start to get to know an individual in any particular group that you get along with, you create a little bit of a relationship, and that can be a person you go to. And that is really the biggest source of information I have and where I've learned most everything I know about hand tools. Most questions when I ask the question of how, the first place I go to is YouTube. Searching YouTube is, is phenomenal. There are 10 videos on every topic. And often when I'm looking on YouTube, I'm gonna type into the top, how to sharpen a handsaw. 
And then I will put a modifier at the end of that of, uh, let's look at how Rex does it. So I'll put in Rex Kruger, or I'll put in Paul Sellers, or I'll put in someone else. And so if you put the name in of the person you like to listen to, then often you can find if they have a video on that topic. And that kind of sorts things out of the mix. So if you're looking for a particular person, you can put that modifier in the search right after your topic of how to whatever. After going through YouTube, and that's where I've picked up a decent amount of my information, then I start to make contacts with some of the people on YouTube or some of the people in other groups. And I will talk to them and say, hey, um, how do you do this? When I first got into it, I made a relationship with Shannon Rogers with the Hand Tool School. And I bounced ideas off of him. And that was, that was huge. Um, he is such a source of information and willing to help anyone that he actually created the Hand Tool School. It is a phenomenal resource for finding information. And if you really want to go deep into it, that's probably the first place I would go for how to use hand tools. He has entire semesters on a particular topic. So you can buy an entire semester on turning or basics or creating your first bench or a couple different types of benches. And the information on the hand tool school is crazy good. Uh, as well as he has a forum on there that is probably the best hand tool forum anywhere on the internet. Uh, bar none, and I've, I've been to many of them. It is probably the best resource for actually generally asking questions. The downside to it is it's a paywall. The upside is you can buy pretty much anything on his website and you get access to that forum. So it's a pretty low paywall that you can climb over, but it is by far the best one I've ever come across. A lot of the woodworking gurus have schools and classes where you can go and buy things particularly. Paul Sellers has a great one. The English Woodworker has one. Um, Tom Fidgen used to have them, but now he's actually doing them in person. And there are a lot of fun things like that. Once you start to get to know a personality and a particular working style, and you like that person, then look Look at actually going and getting something from their services to learn something from that particular person. Because a lot of times it's not about finding the best way to do something because there is no best way to do things. It's about finding the person you connect with the most. And I know my personality isn't for everyone and other people's personality isn't for everyone. So find someone who you like, find someone who you can learn from and dive into what they offer. Because no matter who it is, you're going to be getting good information. You're just getting a different set of information from a different perspective. And that's what makes everything great because there are a thousand ways to do it and there's no real wrong way to do it. Just have fun, experiment, and enjoy the art of hand tool woodworking. Now, I know this is a bit of a fire hose of all the resources that I, I know of. Um, there are many, many out there that I love to dig into, and I'll leave links to all these down below, but I'd love to see uh, what is a key resource do you have when you are trying to figure out how to do something or history about a tool um, or where to find things. I'd love to hear that. And if you know of something that is not on my list or handtoolfinder.com that needs to be on there, please let me know. I want to add as much on there as I can. The more we can add this together, the better we can all grow. So I hope you like this. If you do have any other questions or comments, things that I didn't say, let me know those down below. Please let me know any other resources that you have. I would love to find out more. I'm always learning more and I'm looking forward to growing more in the future. So I do want to say a huge thank you to all the patrons on Patreon, everyone scrolling over here on the side, as well as members here on the channel, people who've clicked that little join button. Uh, I do have special content that I do make for them from time to time. And thank you for everyone on that. That really means more than I can say. So I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Would you like to buy some information? I know a guy.